we'll get, we'll get started here in just a moment. Are we ready to go? I want to thank uh, the sponsors of this amazing bill uh, to help save people money on prescription drugs, which is a big part of total health care costs. I want to thank uh, Representative Lynch, Representative McCormick, Senator Janal, Senator Corum, uh, and all the advocates for their work on this. I mean, you know, it's just outrageous that in this day and age, Americans, including Coloradans, are paying five times as much, eight times as much, ten times as much for the exact same pill made in the exact same factory as people in other countries. And that is one of the reasons that American health care costs are so high. This bill makes an important change to our prescription drug importation program, which already allows uh, importation of prescription drugs from Canada to allow us to import drugs from other countries other than Canada. That increases Colorado's negotiating leverage and being able to get the best deal for Coloradans. Um, it also improves the return on investment that we've already made in, in, this, in the working on setting up the Canadian program. Those RFPs are out and will be back soon, but there's much greater opportunities to be able to expand that. Um, I am going to be so proud in a few moments to sign SB 21123, which will save Coloradans money on health care, specifically uh, will help Coloradans save up to 75% on many life-saving prescription drugs that people need for their everyday health. Uh, I'm excited to turn it over to our head of the Office of Saving People Money on Healthcare, Colorado's Lieutenant Governor, Diane Primavera. Well, thank you, Governor Polis. <clears throat> uh, as the Director of the Office of Saving People Money on Healthcare, I am really excited to see this bill signed into, into law. And the Governor thanked the sponsors, but I would also like to thank the sponsors for their leadership on this important topic. Uh, for far too long, people have been making difficult choices in order to afford their medications. I remember when I worked at healthcare policy and financing more than a decade ago, I heard oftentimes about people splitting doses in half, relying on expired prescriptions, not filling a prescription, or cutting back expenses on other necessities, like groceries, so that they could afford their prescription drugs. And these are the decisions that no Coloradoan should have to make, and they've been making them for way too long. Uh, the savings that will be realized from our prescription drug importation program is, as a result of this bill will help save our state money, and it will especially help consumers and employers access more affordable medications without compromising safety. Senate Bill 21123 is an important piece of legislation that I'm really happy that the sponsors were able to pass and that I'm really happy to support. And now I'd like to turn it over to Director of Healthcare Policy and Financing, Kim Bimstead. Thank you, Lieutenant Governor and Governor, for your bold leadership and, and driving us as the uh, departments to save people money on health care. This is a meaningful legislation. Uh, the number one driver of rising health care costs is prescription drugs, and we need a lot of levers to address those drivers, and this is one outstanding lever. Uh, for those who have chronic conditions, whether you're talking about a thyroid condition or high blood pressure or cholesterol, uh, so many of the drugs that people take, often for the rest of their life, uh, this gives them incredible savings. Um, Canada was more than 60%. This is more in the range of 75%. It opens up supply chains to make to bring more drugs into our state. It helps boost uh, the cost on ROI for infrastructure that we're building. And just as important as we bring down health care costs, it helps us um, make drugs more affordable for those who have health care disparities because of that lack of affordability. So when you think of Pueblo, uh, when Coloradans are one in 10 Coloradans can't afford the drugs they're supposed to take in Pueblo, it's one in five. So closing disparities in health care is really an important piece of this bill. So I want to also thank our bipartisan bill sponsors, and I want to thank our advocates, and I want to thank uh, my staff at Healthcare Policy and Financing, um, everybody working together. This is pioneering, and that's what Colorado does. And under our governor's leadership, this is what we do. We have to, we have to pave the way to do unique uh, strategies and implement unique strategies and overcome barriers when they come before us to help bring meaningful legislation. And I want to thank uh, all those that uh, contributed to that uh, and introduce for you Senator Janal. Uh, thank you all for being here today. And I wish this bill had been as easy as one, two, three, but it's taken a couple of years to get to where it is. We started out with Canadian importation and got through that. 
But now we have a bill that's expanding that importation beyond Canada into European Union countries as well as Australia and others. And um, it is bipartisan. The last year it wasn't bipartisan. So I'm very proud to say that I think prescription drug savings is not a partisan issue. It goes across party lines and uh, it, it's extremely important for everyone. But this bill is going to enable importation of the same drugs that we're getting now from other countries and enable us to bring them into Colorado at a lower price, as you've heard from Governor and uh, from Director Bemsteffer, at 75% less cost on the average than the prices that we're paying right now for prescription drugs. It also ensures compliance with the extensive drug safety regulatory framework. And again, that's something that uh, we can be proud of, that we are very safety conscious as well as cost conscious. So thank you so much. And um, now I will introduce Senator Corum. Thank you very much, and it's great to be here and an honor to be a part of this um, landmark legislation, I do believe. I think it's something that uh, will be uh, followed throughout the nation. Uh, it has been a great to work with the governor's office, the lieutenant governor, uh, all these incredible uh, bill sponsors, and uh, health care and policy and finance. So it's, uh, it's truly a game changer. Um, I guess my only question is, uh, I've been here 11 years, and why did it take this long? That's the question. Uh, Representative McCormick, the new Stephen. chair, the new chair, Chair McCormick, uh, as a freshman member, congratulations on being chair of the Ag and Rural Affairs Committee in the House. Thank you so much, um, and thank you all for being here today. This, what I love about this bill is that. Colorado has always been a leader, and with this bill, we are being proactive versus reactive. We are ready for when the federal government opens up those, those uh, market opportunities, and the fact that our population here in Colorado is one of the fastest growing as far as the percentage of seniors, and our seniors need this bill. And as a veterinarian um, that deals with a lot of pharmaceuticals myself, I also appreciate that this bill and these, this way that we're going to bring in these pharmaceuticals are completely safe. They are FDA approved facilities, they are FDA approved drugs, and we're getting the same drugs for a much lower cost. So I'm super proud to be here today. Thank you, Governor. Um, for signing it today, and um, I will turn it over to my wonderful co-sponsor in the House, Representative Lynch. Well, there's some good things about going last. All the good stuff's already been said, so uh, I'll be brief. Thank you, Governor. We appreciate your leadership in this, and, and thank, you. thank you guys for, uh, for something that, as a new guy, and, and as a guy that makes belt buckles for a living, I don't know a lot about medication. And so when this, when this was brought to me, I said, well, is this not something we're already doing? This is a common sense, free market answer that, uh, that, that has nothing to do with party. It has to do with uh, doing what's right for the citizens of Colorado by reducing uh, drug prices. So I couldn't be more excited to be part of this. Uh, it's still got a ways to go. We've got some work to do. We're relying on the, on the federal government to, uh, to step up, but we're ahead of them. And uh, so excited that we can lead the way for the entire nation um, from this state right here in Colorado. So thank you very much. Appreciate it. Great. And without further ado, let's sign the bill. If you want to join me around here, and we will make this official here, the law of Colorado. Congratulations, it's a really exciting bill and we're saving people money on health care. Thank you, sir.